Hey, if you're a basketball fan like I am and you appreciate sneakers, then you would get geeked out whenever a new signature or, or a new silhouette or even a new model of a basketball shoe comes out. And today, we're talking about the New Balance 2-Way V4. I have New Balance 2-Way V3 just as a reference point for comparisons, but we're going to be talking about this sneaker. So it's currently out on the market for a retail price point of $120. You can go check it out on New Balance if you really, really wanted a pair. But uh, we're going to get right into it. The tech aspect. So with the V3s, they had the few self uh, midsoles. But on this one, the newer version, it's a combination of Fresh Foam X plus few cell foam on the midsoles. So it's a combination of uh, different types of foams so that, I don't know, maybe it provided uh, better comfort. I haven't played in them, obviously. I literally just took them out the box. I put them on feet, took a couple steps here and there. So this is all just a simple overview, nothing too elaborate or deep into it. So just take it with a grain of salt, but it's just, just like initial looks. Um, I know there's absorb cushioning in the back as well. Uh, this absorb cushioning is usually used for impact protection. So if you're jumping and then you're landing, it absorbs, hence the word. The, the way they spell it is with a Z, but you know, the word absorb, it was with an S. So when you jump, you land, it absorbs all that impact. So it makes it easier for landing. Synthetic upper with a mesh upper as, as well, or maybe I flipped it, mesh and synthetic upper. There we go. These kind of look like the Reebok Answer 5s, just the color blocking. Not the model or the, the, the silhouette, literally just the color blocking, because on the opposite side, it's all black, one solid color. But then over here, it kind of splits into, I guess, like, it's almost like Two-Face uh, from Batman. Just splits half and half. Trademark N, New Balance on the side panel. You got the New Balance stripe going down the tongue uh this this heel right here is pretty interesting kind of looks like i don't know the michelin man and then on the the midsole right here i don't know what kind of pattern this is it it looks like a a turtle shell or like the interior of a it's not the interior the bottom or the stomach of a turtle i kind of like that they let off with this colorway because then later on they can get crazier and freakier with the colors. Can't go wrong with the, the three color combo of black, white, and red. I know Jamal Murray, DeJounte Murray, shout out to NBA champion Jamal Murray. Uh, he's also on the, the cover of Slam Kicks. During the campaign shoot, there's a bunch of the, these athletes just wearing the New Balance uh, 2A V4. I don't know what New Balance has plans uh, in terms of Jamal Murray. He is proven that he is an NBA champion. I know Kawhi Leonard has his line, and that's about it. There's not many signature athletes for New Balance. Tyrese Maxey is probably going to be another athlete wearing these. But other than Kawhi, I can't think of another New Balance signature athlete for the basketball department. Hell, <laughs> you could even put Jack Harlow in there, I guess. Um, but yeah, I don't... I think... I, I, I don't know. I, I can honestly say I don't know if Jamal Murray can move units like that. I mean, then again, we said that about Kawhi, right? Can Kawhi Leonard really sell shoes? I don't know. But he, got, he has a signature shoe. Um, Jamal Murray, I think he's going to continue to get those exclusive PE colorways in the New Balance 2A V4s. But yeah, I don't know. That's really up to... The higher ups at New Balance, whether or not they they think that Jamal Murray can move units, the Canadian, um, I don't know, maybe he has a huge Canadian fan base. We shall see. One thing I did notice is the shape of the V4 is a lot sleeker, a few sharper, a little bit more aerodynamic. This one's a little more rounded. I don't know if it's a good or bad thing. It's it's very minimal, right? It's not like you're gonna shave off a whole second in your your speed. If anything, it might be a millisecond or even a, a millisecond of a millisecond. But again, like the mama mentality, Kobe looks for an edge even if it's a millisecond. So maybe 
Maybe the, the shape of the shoe is a little sharper, a little bit more dynamic. Maybe that would just help in terms of performance on the court. Uh, another difference is right here, the outsoles, you see that? I don't uh, I guess that's a hole. Uh, that's where the fresh foam is exposed. And you could probably see the letterings over here. Uh, I'll get really, really close bureau shots of that, but that's the major difference in terms of the V3 to the V4. Actually, let me go grab the Kawhi Leonard Pier just to give you a better comparison. Okay, so this is the Kawhi Leonard Pier. As you can see, color blocking is red, white, and black, or black, white, and red, bread. So you can't really go wrong with the color blocking. Question for you though, and I've mentioned this on Twitter and social media, I have no idea what happened to the Kawhi 3s. I honestly don't know. Felt like they dropped this colorway and they never dropped any other colorways of the Kawhi 3s. So I don't know what the deal is. I know there were issues in terms of the manufacturing of this Kawhi shoe. I think the eyelets were like falling off or something like that. It's not like it was exploding or anything. It's literally, I think, just the eyelet. It was just, I don't know, not as stable as they wanted it to be. But yeah, I have not seen any other colorways of the Kawhi 3s come out. If somebody knows the answer to that, please leave it in the comments below. But as you can see, not bad, huh? The box for the New Balance 2-way V4 is standard red New Balance box, same as what you're getting in the New Balance 2-way V3s. So nothing special there. And yeah. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.